It's the kind of beat to go What's going on? My name is Joey, and today we're going to be taking a break from the strenuous grind of the Survivor's Let's Play and the Infected Let's Plays, all for beginners and stuff like that. Today we're going to be taking a look at the high-level gameplay. This is my level 44 Survivor's account right here, working on getting to level 50. That's the goal here, guys. But this is what I've got, though. We take the time to kind of take a break a little bit today and just kind of take a look at what I've got here. I'll go ahead and show you my team and everything. We'll go through some pretty high-level attacks, some pretty crazy raids, I'm going to say, and... Yeah, that's what I got. So, guys, before we go into this, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, one click of button, one click of a button, you'll get all these videos. You get notified and everything like that. It's great. If you like the video, make sure to like it. But we'll see. Still gotta watch some of the rest of the video to figure that out. And as always, comment because I always love seeing y'all's comments. So, we're off to the races. Fight. All right. <clears throat> Actually, let me go ahead and show you my team really quick. So the team I have is my level 30 machine gunner, my level 25 Captain Zeta or Destructor Mark II, my 22 Fire Chief, 23 Commando, 22 Scattershot, my level 18 Desperado, and my level 16 Sniper. Now this is basically the team that I've pretty much had all through my duration of my career. I'm really working on getting all, a lot of my guys up to level 30, level 25, and then once I kind of flesh out all these guys to level 25, I'm going to start working on my more kind of backup units and things like that. And that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I'm on that grind. I've got to say, guys, it's been a lot of fun working on this. But let's go ahead and get some attacks in because I'm sure that's what y'all want to see. And this is actually Manila. So Manila is the last sort of attack that you're going to go up against. And it's extremely difficult because you go up against a fully powered Dr. Z Shoktowitz or Shoktor Zombowitz. He's pretty much the fourth and final evolution of Dr. Zombowitz. And it's very difficult. It's one true. It's a true finale to this game. Let me see what I can borrow here. I'm gonna borrow the level 17 dead shot from Wazo here, and it's pretty exciting. I've got to say, it's a pretty intense attack here. <sighs> it's crazy, guys. It's it's intense. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to win it, but we're gonna try it out just for kicks and giggles. So right off the bat, it makes life pretty easy right here because we just run into some simple assassins and drones. We have two walls protecting us. Makes life easy there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down a dead shot. I'm going to throw down my scatter shot and my commando. And that's all we're going to do. If it needs more help, we'll support them a little bit. But this is where the true battle is going to be coming from. Over here where we're going to be running to Shakhtar Zombo with some harbingers. We got some assassins and brutes. Everything in between. Nothing fun. I must say, guys, it's all really scary stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and throw all of these guys down here to sort of defend this area. We got a machine gunner back here. Let's go ahead and start these waves. This harbinger is going to be a pain in my butt, but we're going to hopefully be able to take him out. That sniper, hopefully we'll be able to pick him off before he gets to my people. There he goes. Take him out, please. Ah! Ah! He got dropped very quickly, and I did not like that at all. Ooh, this is an intense battle, I've got to admit. So I'm going to go ahead and re-put down another firefighter there, guys. Excuse me. I have a cold. It's not fun. But okay, so it looks like we got a brute there. I'm gonna go ahead and stim up that right there. I'm gonna stim up destructor right there. Oh, we are keeping off that damage. Okay, so these harbingers are causing huge problems, wombo problems. However, it's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flare these guys away because they're about to break through that wall. Oh, slow down another firefighter. So really, when you get to this higher level, you're gonna have to be constantly paying attention to what's going on. What is happening? What is being spawned and all that crazy jazz? So it looks like over here, nothing's even coming yet, but I'm feeling pretty confident with that setup over there. Nothing too worrisome for me personally. Now these Desperados, Outlaws, it's a better uh, Outlaw right there. I love them. They're really helpful, especially when you get to these higher levels. They really take out those Brutes, Titans, and things like that. Those tanky units very quickly, very easily, and it just makes life a whole lot more less stressful. I've got to say, guys, it's... They can be a pain in the butt when they're just going left and right, taking out everything in between. But when we're not having to worry about that stuff, it takes a whole load off your back. So, as you can see, these guys are held up on this wall, but we got the dead shot taken out, mutated, scatter shot, and commander taking out all those drones. No worries at all. However, we're about to run into the true test. We're going to have to figure out how in the world we're going to be taking out Shakdor Zombowitz. So, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys over just a bit, get that dead shot in a good range for all these infected because we got to take out Dr. Zombowitz. So as you can see, he has an extremely high amount of health and he has this area damage and that's not good at all. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stim up my snipers back here. Let's start throwing down another Desperado, get some more damage going. Looks like we're just about to drop him. It's got a couple more drones and we pull out the win on hard on Manila. 
So that's a pretty intense, I thought I'd just show you guys that, just to get a taste for what's kind of ahead for all you guys who are just starting out. So, Manila, what are you going to do? It's it's rough, but the rewards are great. So as you can see, we're getting 2,648 cans there. Usually you're going to get two of those here. So you're getting about 5,000 coins. It's not coins, cans. It's good. It's really, it's not the best farming area. But it gets the job done. It gives you plenty of cans. As you can see, I have 70,000 cans here. Working on researching one of my perks here. Uh, I was a little bit behind on upgrading my perks because they implemented this system while well, I was pretty far. And I was already done with the campaign at that point. So I'm pretty far behind. But I'm catching up slowly. But surely these upgrades are just crazy. Five days. What up? So right now, I just finished upgrading. Well, I think I just complete training. So I get to choose what perk I want. I don't even know what I want. Hmm... I'm going to have to go with this one right here. The 15% chance of dealing 200% damage. I like that. Better than the close range one because I'm going to have my guys far away anyway. So there is our level 6 Timber Beast. I'm working on my Timber Beast too because Lumberjack should become a key player in this new update. Just taking out those drones that like nobody's business. Throw them, match him up with the combat medic. Game over. Whew. All right, so I'm going to work on... Up Actually, let's see. I'll see what I can upgrade here. So I need to upgrade my commando to two more levels. Don't have enough yet. Nope, don't have enough. Don't have enough. Nope, don't have enough. I have enough, but I don't know if I'm going to spend it on him. I'm going to upgrade my timber beast a little bit more. Where are you hiding? Timber beast. Because I really want to evolve my timber beast and get him up to 20 at least. Just to be Adam. He'll be helpful for my team. So leave it there. Actually, let's get the dead shot another upgrade too. Get that up to 11. So that's my upgrading for today. Now let's see what else we have here. Maybe we have a faction war we can get into. Paris, Paris. Let's get some Paris going. So I'm gonna go on expert here. I'm gonna borrow. Let's borrow the scatter shot from Nick. Actually, you know what? Let's go machine gunner times two. I'm feeling lucky with that. It'll work for me. So Paris is for survivors. Yes, it is. Not for zombies. Zombies don't stand a chance. All right. So how many objectives we got? We got two objectives, both on this further lane which is going to be actually very helpful for our defensive purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and move this guy all the way back. We're going to throw down, actually come back. We're going to throw down my machine gunner and we're going to put a lot of our close range guys over here. Now I'm going to also put a sniper. I'm going to chill out over there, move him just kind of right over there in that little cran nook and cranny. Throw down a machine gunner there. The structure is going to go over here. And just to kind of give us some extra firepower, we're going to put a that guy there, that person there, and that person there. All right, so, oh, let's start the waves, and I'll explain what I did here. So, what I did is I put a machine gun on either wave. I'm expecting all of these two paths to sort of funnel into this one air, this one lane right here. That's where I have my level 30 machine gunner at, and he's going to have a good little f camping spot in the back here. I got my sniper, so we can kind of start taking out some people for me. Did not even notice that sniper chilling on that pad, but he was there, apparently. And hopefully, I'm hoping, the ultimate goal here is that these guys are all going to be able to funnel into this area. The machine gunner is going to handle all the drones. All these close range guys are going to do their business and whatnot and just kind of tear them down. So it looks like a sniper starting to work on that behemoth there. Hopefully, we can take him out pr fairly soon. Let me go ahead and flare these guys away just to give that machine gunner a little bit of extra time. Can you please move to the back machine gunner? Thank you. So once we can get that machine gunner rolling up pretty soon. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Don't get on my machine gunner. Okay, time to reevaluate what we're doing with our defense here. You know, this is the struggle, guys. Sometimes you just run into things where it just falls apart. Okay, spitters galore. Don't hit him. Oh, my lord, they're hit my snipers. That is not good. Molotov cocktail. I need it. Oh, my lord. Okay, you know what? Go that way. Thank you. Stim him up. Give him so. Okay, that didn't last long. Okay, let's put that there. Flare them away. Please don't hit my machine gunner. Please. Molotov cocktail right here. Hopefully we can take out a bulk of them. Please. It'd be, it'd be nice. It'd be a blessing. Let's put a machine gunner back there. Put a desperado there. Let's get this guy over there to kind of draw them away. Draw some of the attention away from him. Because there's a little bit too much going on over there. I'm going to be honest. That's what's going on. Oh my gosh. Everybody's dropping like crazy. Ah! Okay. Time to start fortifying. I think we're going to lose that hospital. Say goodbye, guys. Say goodbye to your survivor friends. So long. Auf Wiedersehen. Hasta la vista. Good. So long. Oh, my lord. These spitters are insane. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is crazy. This is going to be difficult, guys. Okay, I've got one scatter shot chilling over here. Just got whooped by those spitters. 
they are slowly but surely moving closer and closer to my area okay we're gonna use this as a go over there for me i need this mg asap or Molotov cocktail anything just give me a unit uh <laughs> oh my strategy fell apart you know what round two we all lose some it happens okay it's been a while, guys. I haven't been playing with my top guys. I'm used to some of those survivor stuff. All right, faction war, Paris. One more attack, and I think that's going to call it a day, but we got to get this win. Oh, my Lord, everyone's sad. Everyone's just, ugh. They're all dead. Recharge. Oh, that hurt. 56 coins. I'm not made out of money, guys. Oh, that was rough. That hurt me to do. Okay. How are we going to differ our strategy this time? All right, actually not going to be different that much. So let's go ahead and put my sniper chilling back there. I'm going to move these guys back a little bit. Machine gunner is going to go down here. Let's move this guy. No, that's good. We're going to put a bulk of people over there. This over here, however, okay, let me throw down this combat medic. Over here, we're going to have flanking guys from each end kind of chilling out. There we go. Start the waves. Hopefully, we can cover this area fairly well with all these guys. we got a good spray and spread and whatnot. Should be able to keep them down pretty easily. I'm not going to send that wave just yet because I'm not feeling that confident with my guys. we got to get some more power going. I'm going to go ahead and send that wave. They can go ahead and get through that wall and whatnot. Start working on that. Just dropped our commando here. Hopefully, we can get some more guys going. Go ahead and throw down this fire chief right here. He's going to go ahead and just kind of try to take the bulk of the damage for me while the rest of these guys start trying to cause damage to these drones, the brutes, the colossuses, whatever is going on over here. Slow down a combat medic with him. Heal him up quick. Down, not soon enough. Flare them in. Hopefully cause, take down the Colossus quick, real quick. Get another fire chief down, stem them up just because we need the extra juice here. Throw down a sharpshooter. <laughs> Looks like we're doing so far so good. Nothing too crazy just yet. Uh, ugh. Okay, <laughs> about to get a little hectic, guys. So far, it looks like we're handling him pretty well. This machine gunner is just taking his merry little time to take out these guys. I'm going to move him up just a tad. Over here, looks like we're not doing so hot either. So let's go ahead and throw down these guys, stem them up, give them some extra juice. Firefighter over there. Fire chief. Oh, Lordy B. Oh, ho, ho. that was crazy. Okay, let's kind of get that going. <laughs> Got a new spawned area here. Go ahead and Molotov cocktail that area. Flare them in. Go into the Molotov cocktail, guys. Say so long. Fare you well. Out feeder Zane. Goodbye. Looks like we're about to pull out the win. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, guys. Just a couple more. Ah, there we go. 877 trophies. What a massive, massive, massive take. Yes. Love it. Yes. All right, so that's the win there. And that is going to conclude this high-level gameplay. Had one loss. Not too shabby, I think. That was pretty good. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.